Welcome back to NWEA Basics for Teachers, sponsored by the Oklahoma Public School Resource Center. I'm Jean Potter, and I will be your guide for this session. We're going to be talking specifically today about the learning continuum. I don't know about you, but all of those numbers about RIT scores that I've been talking about really don't mean much to me because I don't know what those scores translate to. So the learning continuum gives us that information. To access the learning continuum, again, you go to Map Growth Reports. You can access it a couple different ways. The most direct route and the one I'm going to show you first is just to click on Learning Continuum. This will bring up this page. There are a couple different views for the learning continuum. There's a class view and a test view, which we'll go over. But I also want you to see that on this same page, on the Learning Continuum page, there's a link to Khan Academy resources. So if a student scores on a particular writ, you can link now to find a link now to send those students to Khan Academy resources to help them with some of the concepts that they may need some extra work with or may need some enrichment with. So let's go back up to the class view. If I choose class view, again, I've got term rostered and term tested. I've got my class I've selected. I'm going to select math for this one just because, and then I'm going to view the report. As I view the report, I can see that it breaks the overall math assessment down into goal areas, which we've seen before, so operations and algebraic thinking, for example, but then it breaks those even further down into some sub areas, and if I click on those sub areas, it will pull up specific learning standards or learning statements. If I would prefer to see it in standard language for state standards, I can click on group by standard. Close this. And you can see that it sets it out in language resembling state standards. These are the common core standards. If you're an Oklahoma teacher, you know that we have our own standards and you will see those. I don't have an Oklahoma login. I can close this one and move on down to several of the others. In addition, I can go back one, I hope, and instead of class view, I can go to test view. And in this case, let's look at reading just to show something slightly different. So I'm going to click on reading six plus in the test view, and it gives me a very different view. It shows across the top the RIT scores divided into 10 degree or 10 point increments all the way from the lowest to the highest. So it goes all the way from 141 up to 270 in this case. Again, it divides them by into, this, into goal areas and then into sub goal areas. And if I click on those, it gives me these as, as in groups of three. So let's go to one that has all of those shown. So I'm going to go to 211 to 220. Students who scored 211 to 220 have successfully, successfully learned the concepts that are listed in 201 to 210, but may need some reinforcement. 211 to 220, these are the concepts that you'll want to be actively teaching. And 221 to 230, these are concepts that you might want to use as a challenge for your students as they begin to approach that 220, 220 range. Another way you can access the learning continuum, which may be more helpful to you, and we'll look at this very quickly. I go back to my macro reports. I go to class breakdown. I choose as I did before. And I'm going to choose to show by goal. View my report online because it's interactive. And now if I want to look at this, I can begin to, I can also go to the learning continuum this way. Okay, so two different ways to go to the learning continuum. One may be more useful sometimes than the other. Check back with us. We're going to be talking specifically about what the class view looks like and how we can use that.